welcome back to my youtube channel my name is robbie and today we are going to be creating the torso and the arms of the boy but before we get too far be sure to subscribe like and comment down in the comment section below without wasting any time let's do this okay so we'll start by selecting these edges at the bottom select loop and i'll extend this make sure your selection is on mouse i'll stretch it like this and this side again like this i'll bring it up i want a lot of divisions so that i can make good holes for the hands so i'll extend again going down like so positioning it for the back side i'm just imagining in my head how the body is shaped so i'll do it like so i'll stretch inwards a bit here okay extend a bit and we'll stretch it like that as well bring it down so just a recap remember t is for move h for stretch and y is for rotate okay make sure to follow the reference like so okay I'll select loop there and I'll make it bigger just a bit over here okay I like the way it looks like okay I'll change this to texture wired select these polygons here on the middle let's just pull them out okay because it looks like a depression on the middle here of the chest so I'll select these holes uh, no, let me add maybe here. Okay, it's a bit too small. I don't like it. So, what I'll do is Control Z to undo. I think the hands have to be a bit bigger. So, I'll select all these here. Delete. And while in edge mode, I'll select these edges. And. I will extend okay first let me before I extend I'll just make this shape look round so control T for the drag tool and extend E on the keyboard for extender H for stretch I will move it out like this okay so for before I start following the reference too much I'll just make the shape how the hands should should be so I'll bring it out like so bring it out on the back view okay I'll start rotating it a bit okay let's bring it back here a bit yeah like somewhere here start rotating this so I'll start twisting this it's kind of a bit hard for now to follow the reference so what I'll do is I'll just make sure I have all the joints that I need by the way you need three joints on the elbow you need three joints so one on the top there on one right where the arm bends and one just after so I'll just make it like this I'll keep rotating this as well don't forget uh, shrink it down okay I'll extend my selection shift closing bracket and I want to shape this a bit I'll move it trying to follow, follow the, the reference I'll try to follow the reference Let's rotate this. 
I'm trying to cue the the twisting of the arm. It's too much. It's bad. Okay, I'll rotate this one more time. I can stretch it here. Oh, I will straighten it up here. And I'll bring it there. So now, after this, at this point, I'll get the drag tool. Let me change this to point mode so that I can see what I'm selecting. So, I'll just make this into a circle like. I'll make it like so. Okay, so I'll select the next one as well. This is when now I'm following the reference. We've got that. Okay, I think we should rotate this. So on the top view, you can just rotate that. And yeah. And don't forget to drag the points. Make them a bit round. Just remember to follow the reference. Yeah, making it round like that. And I'll select this, select loop. And I'll drag it to the back like that. So, on the, yeah, on the back view, just rotate it. Like so. Make sure to check your 3D object the way it looks like. It should look like this. I've got the top view and... I will just stretch these points. It's kind of hard just stretching the points when you're in edge mode, so that's why I switch. That's why I convert them to point mode most of the time. So we have something like this. Okay, so far I like the way it looks like. I'll select these, select loop, and I'll just extend them some more and drag them inside. Okay, I can I can just move these make the shape look look cleaner nice yeah more like that then i'll deselect question mark on the keyboard to deselect and we have that okay texture and this looks good already i like it Okay, so for the neck, before we go, we'll have to deal with the neck. So what I'll do is, while I'm here, I'll select uh, this. Not really. Let me do this. Deselect this. And I'll select everything down below here. I'll zoom in and push E for extender. So now I've got an edge there. I'll select this edge, select loop. And I'll extend it. I'll stretch it. Stretch it out, I'm gonna stretch it out some more like this, even this side, and rotate it so it follows the shape. With the drag tool, I can move the points one by one to follow the reference. I will select, I'll convert these points to, I'll convert it to point mode, and I also follow this so that we have that and I'll select this side okay sometimes you move one side and you disturb the other side okay I'll select these as well select loop and let's rotate it and move it down like so okay I'll try I'm trying to extend but no I can't extend at that point especially in edge mode I will select loop select those let's first stretch these ones out try and follow the sweater okay let's move down let's just drag it rotate it okay it's coming out well I'll select these and I'll push E for extender to create another division there 
and well look at that let me select this and select loop just to reduce it i think it's too big yeah let me reduce it even this side okay nice this looks much much better now yeah so this is our object for today thank you for watching be sure to subscribe and see you in my next video